So we're just approaching Lights Beach and William Bay National Park, which goes off to one direction, and then you'll see very shortly as we crest this rise, here's the car park. And a gazillion people around, lots of lovely sights to see. Okay, I've decided I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to wait here and get a good set coming in like they have been because uh, you get one really big set every now and then. So I'm going to try and wait for that, see if I can't get some waves right at the back here and in the mid ground and in the foreground. So we'll see. There's a bit of an experimentation. F11 1 250th per second at ISO 100. I have gone for quicker um, shutter speeds, but I'm pretty high on the ISO, so I thought I would try something a little bit more vanilla, so to speak. I like the water rushing off the rocks. That's pretty good. I like the water rushing off the rocks here at the same time as trying to get some uh, wave action here and some white water down the front here. <laughs> Don't want much, do we? I just took a few shots in, so I better have a bit of a look, see what I got. You can see all the way up to uh, the windmills up on the hill there. The waves are pumping. I had the drone up earlier on and uh, got some footage there. I hope I got some good footage with that. no idea of this little area here I keep coming back to this area at Lights Beach because it is so good and there's a, another area over there that is worth a look too but maybe not today skies are blue and skies are clear well pretty much anyway so here comes the set look at this lot coming I don't know if it's going to tie in with what I want taken a heap of shots on the long lens and the wide angle and uh, even put the 10 stop ND filter on to get some uh, smooth water shots so it'll be interesting to see how all those have come out. Here's a set look building up out the back here. Look at this. So 
what we want is that one to come in and smash this light at the same time as another one builds up and breaks out the back. Will we get it? Oh, that's looking good too. Wow. Yeah, well, you never know. Look at that water. Just magnificent, isn't it? So it's uh, about 10.30ish just after high tides, on the tides on the way out, just on the ebb. And uh, we'll just see what the waves do. It's just a case of uh, set the shot up, have an idea in your mind what you want, and wait for it to arrive, just like that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Don't really need to make uh, silky water because it's doing it itself. Slow shutter speed's not required. Look at the green in that wave out here. Just as it breaks, the, the light shining through because the sun's behind me and uh, the light through the wave is just beautiful. This is a nice little um, set of rocks here with some uh, pippies and bits and pieces on it, a bit of uh, weed there as well. And now it's gone quiet. He says there's another one builds up out the back there. Let's see what that brings and I think after that that's going to do me go and find some other shots. It'll take me about a month to get through all the looking at these. Wow, that's beautiful. Another one building up out the back, look at that. Where's the surfers now? It's like, when do you stop taking photos? <laughs> about an hour, I reckon. <laughs> That'll do. Well, that was my uh, interesting morning at Lights Beach. And uh, I had one particular shot in mind and I didn't even take it. How funny is that? Because the conditions that I wanted for it weren't there. So I opted to uh, take some other ones and go to some places I've already been before. You would have seen the last vlog from there. And I uh, thought I'd try practice a little bit more wave photography. And I managed to get the drone in the air as you would have seen. So uh, all in all, a good morning. It's now quarter past 11. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, time to go home stop and get some fresh eggs on the way from one of the roadside stalls hopefully and uh, if everyone hasn't got them and uh, yeah that'll be that good morning everyone and it's uh, early morning well it's not really that early it's probably near seven o'clock but it's uh, winter and obviously 
camera out of the way. Obviously, the uh, sun doesn't get up as early as it does other times of the year, but it still feels early. Anyway, uh, welcome to this week's vlog. And I'm here because the sky is lighting up over the dam at the back of Duckett Mills, Duckett's Mill Wines and Denmark Farmhouse Cheese. We are going to say the cheese is just a delight and the wine is extraordinary and the meals that you get here are a gastronomical delight. As much of a gastronomical delight as that is a visual light delight. Anyway, I'll uh, walk you through the scene and uh, what I'm attempting to do this morning. Here's the scene and the sky is actually I think we're actually going to miss out here. Um, I'm not sure, but we're going to we're going to see. I've taken a couple of shots already, done a couple of experimentals, and there's the uh, there's the composition. And I just realised that uh, I've maybe got a little bit too much foreground, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll see see what happens. You can see the the uh, a bit wobbly, aren't I? See the colour and the detail in the sky is quite quite beautiful. When I first got here, this was very dark. So here's a tip: use the use a torch or use the torch on your phone to light up your foreground so you can focus on it. And then compose your shot, or compose your shot, do the focus, and then take your shot. So you can see on this one at ISO 800. It's uh, about 10 second shot. We'll just double check our focus here. Yeah, that's, look, that's looking pretty sharp. So, 10 seconds, ISO 800, F11, because that's the sharpest aperture on this lens. A long time, 10 seconds, isn't it? Hooker Barrows are having a good old laugh. And according to the shot, the blinkies are on. The sky's a little bright. Well, there you go. Who would have thunk that? Beautiful reflections. try a bracketed shot now and uh, I don't know how this will come out it is fairly windy this morning and um, there's some movement in the trees but I'm hoping that the trees are far enough away not to worry about it and not to, uh, for it to come out in the photo so we'll see now I'm going to do one uh, minus one and a half minus a half plus a half and see how they come out because the sky is getting a little light believe it or not it's kind of interesting isn't it <laughs> looks quite nice too the third shot's taking a while right -o. so there's the bright one obviously Well, that's going to be interesting to see how they come out. the sun.
And yes, I know that featured it in a uh, in a song. <laughs> I actually packed up and left and went back up out of here and uh, looked out the window and saw this. I thought I've got to go back down. <laughs> See, never leave before it's over, is the lesson. So, same composition, or virtually the same composition, because it was, I couldn't find where I actually stood before. Anyway, we're just going to witness this and uh, grab a few shots. So, ISO 100 now. F11 and two seconds with the histogram exposed to the right. Two seconds and it's with the 17 to 40 on and I am at 17 mil. So and not quite. Oh yeah, focus to infinity. That's not a bad way to start the morning, is it? And yes, it is that green around here in Denmark. We've had a lot of rain and the uh, grass is very, very green. <laughs> So, hope you enjoyed that, uh, or have been enjoying this sunrise like I have. And uh, this is where I'm going to say uh, farewell, because uh, I've got some other things to do today, so I'm not going to drag this vlog out very much longer. And I think most of the action is, uh, is finished anyway. It'll hang around for a little bit longer, but uh, that'll do. So, from the dam at uh, Ducket's Mill Wine, wines and for Denmark farmhouse cheese don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up give us a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you do like what you see and if you do subscribe hit that notification bell all right everybody in the meantime see you on the next one bye for now <laughs>